All right, now, if you wanna be a fantastic iron player, there's really just three things you need to do. Number one, I need to get my weight shifting to my left so that I can hit the ground at the same time every single time, hit the ball first, and then make my divot in front of what we'll do later here is in front of this line. So the first key is I gotta get my weight to the left. You can see that if I'm falling back to the right, like many players do, I'm wanting to ground out here. My right shoulder is getting lower to the ground. I'm gonna hit behind this line. There's really no way for me to get my, my hands and arms up in front of that line. That's piece number one. Number two, I have to get my hands leading the way. I have to get my hands in front of the club head and in front of this line at contact by a good four or five inches. That way my divot is always in front of that line. I'm taking loft off the club like the Tour Pros. I'm really compressing that ball. I'm getting that nice, tight, solid draw. And then number three, I need to make sure I come from the inside. It doesn't matter if I hit this ground every single time I hit the ball first. If I'm kind of chopping down steep, I'm coming across the ball and I get that weak slice or that weak shot that just kind of floats up the face and goes really high. If you want to learn how to do that, I have an absolutely simple drill, really easy. You follow the steps on this, it's going to be very easy to go ahead and do all those things that I mentioned. Let's go and get started. All right, so let's jump right into the drill. The first piece is I gotta get my weight to the left. And the easiest way that I've found to feel this is as you go to the top, make sure that your weight shifts to the right very early, or as you make your backswing. As soon as I'm starting my backswing, I even like to preset maybe 60% uh, of my weight on my right side at a dress. That way I get my weight to the right early. I want my weight almost fully loaded up on my right side by the time my club gets to parallel with the ground. From there, I'm gonna feel like I get my weight to my left, I'm pushing my left foot into the ground, then I swing down. What almost every single player does is they wait way too late in their backswing to get their weight going to the right. And what ends up happening is now everything is late when I'm shifting down, I keep my weight on my right and I end up falling back and hitting behind the line like we talked about. The easiest way to do, just like I said, start with your weight on your right, have my weight feeling like it's on the inside of my right foot, so from my toe all the way to my ankle, I wanna feel some pressure there when the club is here. Then I'm gonna shift left and swing down. That shift to the left has to happen before I swing down. Just like if I was gonna throw a pitch, I'm gonna step forward, I'm gonna shift my weight, open my body, then I throw the ball. I don't throw the ball, then shift to the left. That's an easy way to do it. So a great little drill here is to feel like what I like to do, if I'm putting this line on the ground, I'll put a T or even now, let's grab a golf ball to make it more severe here. I'm gonna put a golf ball under my left ankle and have her under my left foot, kind of in the middle of my foot, right around there, under my sole. And then I'm gonna feel like I push that ball into the ground. So I transfer right early. I push that ball or start to drive that ball into the ground. Then I swing down. Now the second piece is the forward shaft lean. How do I get those hands in front? This is a big one. And when I get players to do this little drill I'm gonna teach you, they start looking like a tour pro very quickly. This is a natural motion. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my club and turn it sideways, and I'm gonna imagine it's a, a hammer or an ax, and I'm gonna drive this golf ball into the ground. Now when I do that, because there's so much weight in front of the shaft now, when I feel like I get my hands just a little bit ahead, you'll see I have tons of shaft lean. So if you don't believe me, grab a club and do this and notice how just easy it feels to get your hands way in front when you're doing this. Another great visual that makes this even easier is you take a little tee and you put it in the ground at an angle. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna feel like with this club or now my new sledgehammer, I'm gonna imagine this is a railroad spike or a giant nail. I'm gonna have my toe of my club feel like I'm gonna drive that into the ground. So you'll see there, Depending on the shape of your club, you may or may not be able to actually do that, but you can see I just drove that right into the ground, that T into there. It's really not that hard to do once you get the feel of that ax instead of a golf club. Now finally, the third piece, doesn't, none of this does you any good. It doesn't matter if I go ahead and shift my weight and I make that divot time after time after time right in front of that, that line. I hit the ball perfectly clean every single time if I'm chopping down and coming across this golf ball. Lots of times I'll see players do this. They stand up, they're casting it, losing lag, and they're kind of flipping and chopping it. The ball just rolls up the face and it doesn't do any good. All that's coming from when I start my downswing, that right arm pushing this club out and getting steep. I wanna make sure that I come from the inside, I get from the slot, then I come down. A great way to visualize that is that same thing. We're gonna put that tee in the ground again, 
But this time, instead of it being straight toward my target, actually I'll put it in relationship to this alignment stick, instead of it being straight toward my target, I'm gonna angle that tee, whereas if I was playing baseball, I would feel like that tee's kinda going out toward right field. Now I'm gonna do that same drill again. I'm gonna set up as though that was my golf ball. And instead of hitting it straight down this alignment stick, for those of you who are coming a little steep and over the top, I'm gonna feel like I'm going more toward right field. I'm still getting my weight left. I'm still opening my body, but my club's coming from the inside and I'm gonna drive that tee that way instead of that way. So that'll get you coming from the inside. Now you'll see as I'm doing this, it's very easy for me to hit four or five or six shots in a row in front of this line. It's not that difficult at all. And once you do these drills, the same thing's gonna happen for you. This makes it so much more fun when hitting your irons. And now there's one thing in this video that I didn't mention, and that is even if we can hit the turf at the exact same spot every single time, it's not gonna be as solid if we don't learn to square up the face the correct way. I hinted at this a little bit before, but there is a pro way and a recreational golfer way of squaring the face. This will square the face by releasing the club shaft, and this will square the face with the wrist by rolling the club shaft. I have a drill that's gonna teach you the pro way of doing that, being able to roll those hands, square this face up, and get in this position to where now I have tons of forward shaft lean, and I'm really compressing, smashing the ball against the face, covering the golf ball, as many people call it. You may have even stumbled into this feel time, uh, once or twice before in your life, when you feel like that ball just melts into the face, it's really, really soft, and then it just jumps off there, getting more distance than you felt. That all comes from squaring the face in the correct manner, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this bonus video. I'm gonna play a preview of my tennis racket drill, which is gonna go over the exact way that you square the face up with your wrist to make this happen. If you wanna check that out, all you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen. If you don't see that card, don't worry at all. Just go down to the, to the description below and click the link there. I can't wait to share with you the secret tennis racket move that's gonna help you to hit like a pro. Let's go and get started. Good player problems. We're gonna talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all of the, the top players, is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again, coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane, as I go to the top of the swing, I'm gonna be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time, 